Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the performance of Grand Theft Auto V running on Intel Core i5 1035G4 processor with Iris Plus graphics. Um, this is the 48 execution unit part, and you can see here we're running the game at 720p and basically the lowest detail settings that we can and the DirectX 11 mode. And performance through the benchmark we can see here is generally over sort of 40 frames per second. You do get the occasional dip, but it is consistently over 30. Uh, this runs through first some sort of basic fly throughs, and then we go on to the longer main section of the benchmark with the fighter jet and the drive through the city. And frame rates throughout this are consistently above 30 frames per second. So we are seeing an improvement over what we typically expect from something like a UHD 620 on the previous generations of Skylake, KB Lake, uh, and so on based chips. Uh, obviously this isn't the full 64 EU part that is in the G7 branded chips, uh, but it is a step above or between that and the, uh, the G1 parts that are in a lot of uh, machines now. And going to the fly through we can see here it's quite often over 50 frames a second, occasionally pushing up as high as 60. Um, obviously we would like to see it running um, 60 frames a second ideally, however if you wanted to have a consistent frame rate you could perhaps set the um, half v-sync option to run the game at an effective 30 frames per second. And while you may find in gameplay there is some decrease below that, for the most part it would lock to 30 fps. So. Although not a perfect situation, um, we would obviously like a bit higher detail, a bit higher frame rates, um, particularly at the moment where the game is free on the Epic Games Store, it's worth a go if you have one of these chips and giving it a play. Um, so I'm going to let the game uh, finish running through on this uh, benchmark section, and then there is also some gameplay footage as well if you want to check that out. I did notice um, there were some dips into sort of the high teens, low twenties in places in actual gameplay. Um, whether that was because the game was loading in some assets um, or perhaps a heat management issue on this particular system because it is only a 14 inch laptop, I'm not entirely sure. But frame rates again in gameplay were typically over 40 frames per second and reasonably playable if you're happy with that. I hope you found this video useful, do be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from us in the future, and let us know in the comments below if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching.